good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you to everyone that has bought training and thank you to everyone that's about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. This is going to be a different kind of video because I'm being a little contemplating. There was this YouTube video that I watched. It was like 15 apps that pay you money to use these apps. So immediately, immediately I was like, none of these apps are going to pay any meaningful money. Before we get into that, let's talk about what is meaningful money. Meaningful money would be $1,000 to $2,000 per month. That's meaningful money. That's something worth doing. If you could do something, let's say four or five hours a week, 20 hours a month, and you make a thousand or two thousand dollars a month, that's worth doing. So that's what I mean, meaningful money. I'm not talking about 20, 30. I mean, you know, actually go on these apps and start making meaningful money. So I had this thought before I even watched the video. I was like, okay, the first app paid out eight bucks per use. I didn't even finish watching the whole video because the highest they got to was like 20 bucks. And it got me to thinking, this video is doing pretty well, that America is desperate. America is desperate because number one, to not even have the awareness that an app is, oh, there, there was one app that so would pay you for walking, pay you for walking. And I was just sitting there like, and it hit me. America has transformed from 1960s kids are graduating. If, go here on YouTube and look at the videos of kids speaking from the 1960s. They're very articulate. They're much more mature. And we have transformed from a nation of people who were eager to get out and start working. When I was a kid, everyone I knew could wait to get a job, couldn't wait to turn 15 to get a job. Now we have devolved into a nation of slackers. And I was like, just looking at this video and I was just like, people actually believed that there are these 15 apps that you can use. Now here, here's the thing. Once again, I didn't even finish watching it because I, I was just, I started chuckling. I was like, <laughs> and let's say if you downloaded all 15 of these apps and used them, we're not even talking about 200 bucks a month utilizing all 15 apps. And I was just sitting there like, well, what is going on? Well, what is going on? Because I am, um, I am personally going through a change. There's a number of YouTubers who put out content that was pissing me off. Now I just chuckle, hit the little buttons and these folks don't pop up in my feed anymore because they're full of bullshit. And, um, I started to think, how did we get here where in my mind, conscious, socially aware humans are being sucked into this. I mean, the video was what I thought it was going to be even before I watched it. I didn't think it was going to be helpful. I didn't think it was going to be relevant. I didn't think it was going to give me anything useful. And the video delivered on that promise. And I was looking in the comments and people were like, thanks for putting this information out. I was like, I was like, just perplexed. I was like, 
what what is going on? Because I could never put out a video talking about 15 apps, be energetic, be very positive. The video had great editing. I will give them that. But I could never put out a video like that knowing what the average person in this country makes and knowing that the average person if they're going to start a small business on the side needs to be at one thousand to two thousand dollars per month in exchange for their time and i watched this content and i was like okay first of all and this is something that i had to understand and acknowledge during my break people are making this type of content because people are consuming it it's kind of like if they weren't eating they wouldn't be cooking it so they're cooking this content because people are eating it which got me to thinking um why are people like this that you would watch a video like that get positive positive get a positive out of this video that was essentially 100% worthless and I began to look at the um, the audience um, I feel that I was wrong because you know as you know I was on this rant and I have many videos reflecting this rant of YouTubers putting out worthless content. But I have B School for Hustlers and the corporate game. And there's a video on the corporate game right now with some very high level game that's not getting a lot of views. Not getting a lot of views. And I, I begin to ask myself, because like I'm getting ready to reconstruct everything I do, because I want to create a message that speaks to the sensible, the reasonable, and those people who are willing to put in the work. If you're willing, and I'm about to say some stuff that may be controversial, I know with all of the information available that for the average person without a college degree, 100k a year is very possible and doable 100k a year in the, the world that we live in today 100k a year for the average person without a college degree now at some point this person is going to have to have a transformation they're going to have to go through a transformation like i went through a transformation uh, I went through a transformation of being a hardworking person with no marketable skills, and then I developed these marketable skills. So once this average person, not a genius, not someone went to college, once they begin to study, and this is right here, very, very important. You must leave the prep phase. Now, what is the prep phase? The prep phase is watching YouTube videos, reading books, taking online courses. All of that is the prep phase. You must leave the prep phase and get into the practical application phase. And that's where I am seeing a lot of people struggle. A lot of people. You've got people who are taking online courses, some of my courses. They're reading books, they're listening to podcasts, they're educating themselves, they're becoming aware and they're they're becoming knowledgeable. But that's where they that's where they sit. They sit in that prep phase and they do not move over to the practical application phase. Years and years ago, when I was doing my course. 30 days to 2,500. If you were around, you know how I did it. I would do the training live on YouTube. And if you wanted the recorded versions, 
you had to buy the course right and what i would do is i would take them down like you had to show up at three o'clock and uh that course i sold quite a bit of that and i had someone who had a business he had left the the prep phase he had left the prep phase and moved to the practical application phase and this person was doing five to ten thousand dollars a month with their business and they took 30 days to 2500 and that course took this person to 30 to 40 thousand dollars a month so this begs the question why were people who were taking the same course that he was taking get such radically different results number one i think i've answered that question a lot of people who took that course were in the prep phase the gathering of knowledge phase the educational phase and this person had left that phase and moved to the practical application phase and that's why the results were so different same exact training and this is one of the reasons i don't do testimonials and i'm gonna tell you why i don't do testimonials if i were to get testimonials from my um best students that would be extreme bias because i already know this i already know this like someone come to me they take my course they get a lot of results and if i was to come up and use that person as an example of what would be truly possible that would be a level of duplicity because this person is different see this is why i feel that so many people struggle to make money is they never move to the practical application phase they never move to that because it's hard when you start your llc and you start your business the practical application phase is getting customers and typically you could talk to 10 people in one day and all 10 people say no and then you do that monday through friday and 50 people told you no and three told you yes that's hard that's really really hard and i feel no i actually know i actually know that the appeal of these simple easy not particularly skilled things that people are hoping they're wishing that these simple tasks and things can make a lot of money because they don't want to deal with the harshness of moving from the educational prep phase to the practical application phase you, a place you see this is the manosphere i'm gonna say this getting women is not really complicated getting the woman that you want is not that complicated um what is hard for a lot of men is to have the balls to see a woman that they want walk up and introduce themselves that's really really hard for a lot of men that is for me it seemed almost silly until i begin to study the community a lot of men cannot do that because you leave you know you watch all of these youtubers talking about developing game uh the players club um day game infield training and the simple thing of walking up to a woman and saying hi my name is so and so 
it's very hard for a lot of men. Just like it is very hard for people to leave the prep phase. For I've had people pay me $10,000 for an online course, went through it, studied it, and did nothing with the information. And that right there is very distressing because you know, if I was to reach out, I have successful students, but all of my successful students are different because if I was to go up and put up all these testimonials of people who are doing really well and you were to come in and take the same course and you never leave the prep phase, you're not going to get any results. You're just not going to get any results. And this is something I know going in that so many folks and I want I, I, I did have a misclassification of this. I was calling these folks lazy. Lazy is not the right word. Scared is more the correct word. These people are scared of being successful. I know that sounds strange. Because when you become successful, you have to manage more. You have to do more. Like the the like me selling these cars. I got seven cars left. Next Monday is a car day where I'm gonna sit down all day. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna list the cars. I'm gonna do it Monday. It literally, I hate doing it. I hate doing it because it's such a pain in the ass. But to sell these cars, I got to do it. And for you to be successful, you got to leave the preparatory phase and move to the practical application phase. As hard as it is, as much as it scares you, because here's the thing. Being successful requires more responsibility than being a bum. This is one of the reasons that van life is so popular because you have less responsibility, you have less things in life and you can just chill. You can just chill. And if you want that as a life, because let me tell you where that's going to catch up with you. If you're much younger than me, one day you're going to be my age if you live long enough. And I'm going to tell you, just chilling, just doing nothing, not building anything. At some point, you're going to look up and you're going to be very, very disappointed in yourself. Right now, you know how many people get married per day? The number is stunning. 6,200 people in the United States get married every day. How did I get to this? I'm doing some research and I came across this product that was a wedding cake topper that was making $50,000 per month. And it's like, how many people are getting married? And I went ahead and I looked it up. 2.3 million people, well, couples, because it's really, if you were to count both of them, it's almost 6 million people. But, you know, they become one, a couple, a wedding, a marriage. And um, I was just like literally blown away. Because um, I'm going to start an e-commerce site. That's one of the businesses I'm going to start. So right now I'm looking for the right products, the right things. And I'm doing my research. And it just really just showed me that when you do the research, you can find hidden markets because I had no clue to that. I mean, that's a huge demographic, 2.3 million people a year. That's a huge demographic. And um, once again, I, I, I just sit here and like I said, you know, I, I'm taking a different tactic. I'm taking a different um, angle because 
I want to sell courses to people who are actually going to take action. That's who I want to sell courses to. And today I'm sitting down working on my goals, um, putting together some stuff because, um, man, this global reset is going to be devastating. It is going to be devastating because people, because like, like I said, um, dealing with the person I know that became homeless, you make bad decisions, right? That result in you having bad outcomes. And then you get desperate. I'll tell you a time in my life when I was desperate. I didn't have no money, I had a little money. And for some reason, I got this ideal in my head that God wanted me to win the lottery. So I literally spent $200 on scratch off tickets. I lost 150. I won $50. That was an act of desperation. Now, as a person who's well beyond that point, I know that was completely and utterly foolish. It was utterly foolish, but I didn't see it that way because I was desperate. And that's what's going to happen in this global reset of America. You're going to have people who are going to get in a bad situation and that's why they're going to be consuming like this video, 15 apps that you could because they're desperate. They're not thinking rationally, because if you were to sit and think rationally, wait a minute, these because first question is, how do these apps make money to pay you money? So how does an app that pays you for walking make money? That's a hard one. Who is going to pay people for walking? You know, outside of a fundraiser where we're going to walk or we're going to do this marathon. Who's going to pay you for walking? That's a hard thing. And if you were not desperate, you would actually look at this content for what it is. Flimsy, sorry ass content. There's nothing earth shattering about it. Nothing. But once again, why are these content creators cooking this content? Because people are eating it. They're consuming it because people are desperate. They're like, I mean, the desperation and it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse in. Um. 2023, 2024, and 2025. It's going to get worse because people are not approaching these concepts from a logical sound mind. Like, you know, today to go to the store and spend 200 bucks on lottery tickets and expect to win is complete foolishness. But see, I can see that because I have clarity. But I'm not desperate at that point. It made perfect sense to me to spend all of my money. Only had 200 bucks. Spent all of my money on some lottery tickets. Resulted in me not having money for food until I got paid again. I literally did not eat for a week because I did that. Because I was desperate. Desperate. Once again. I'm not going to, you know, misclassification, stupid, lazy. Those were misclassifications because I didn't understand what I was looking at. Like now when I see these people who watch this video and they leave these positive comments, these are not normal, well-balanced, financially sound people. These people are desperate. This is why. They're listening to this. This is why I'm just like, oh, my God. I mean, you know, as Oprah used to say, that was an aha moment for me to realize that these people were desperate. And this is why they're consuming this content, because the wolf is at the door. They're facing some dire consequences. These people are facing repossession, eviction. They're looking for Anything that can make them any money. 
and they're not in the frame of mind to actually act upon sound advice. They're not in the frame of mind because let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to focus more on B school for hustlers and the corporate game than I do this channel. I've already started that. Like I've posted a video every day um, so far because I've moved some content from this channel to that. You know, I'm focusing on those channels because I have more realistic people over there. Because understand the global reset is not going to be playing with people. I mean, like the situation that I know of someone being homeless, the situation that I know of um, people being pressed. So now that I have a better understanding of why people are consuming this content because they're not in their right minds. They're not even close to being in their right minds. They're not um, in a space where they can appreciate the truth. They're not in a space where they can accept and act upon the truth. And if I had really looked at what had happened, like uh, once I did, I did 30 days to 2,500. And I had some people who had extremely mind blowing, you know, results. And I had people who had no results because they didn't take action. And that's what I'm, I'm really, really focusing on the action takers, the people who would show up, the people who will do the things. Because once again, this global reset, man, you're going to see carnage in your family. You're going to see, I'm going to make this prediction. Most of you are going to have someone in your family who's going to end up homeless. That's how devastating this global reset is going to be. Most of you will have a family member who will end up homeless. And it's going to be bad. So let me cook and work on some stuff because uh, I'm getting ready to work on some different stuff. And I will be presenting that this month.